Uh, hello, this is just a quick tutorial on how to do a transplucked instrument in Reason or Record. You, have, um, you know, mainly for Reason. I'm using Record, but you can do this with just Reason as well. I didn't see too many tutorials that actually show showcase how to make this kind of synth, and it, for a lot of uplifting trance tracks, it is kind of essential. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So first, right-click and create a combinator then right click inside the combinator create a line mixer 6-2 then right click create create an instance of Thor I have my Thor patches initialized and you can um you can set it up so that they whenever you create them they start initialized and you can do that if you edit preferences I'm sure there's other YouTube video tutorials that will show you how to do that and I'm going to put my tempo up to about 136 or so just for the purposes of this tutorial. So this is what the raw patch sounds like. So what I'm going to do first is I want to shape this sound a little bit to give it a pluck sound. So I'm going to come over here to this amp envelope, put the attack all the way down, bring the sustain all the way down, put the release to about... 450 milliseconds or so, then bring the decay down to about 350 or so. Now we have a little bit of a pluck there, not not anything spectacular. So I'm just going to add a little bit of layering to it. I'm going to change this analog oscillator to a multi oscillator. layer that. And I'm going to put these to random two for the detune. Now the next part, which is a little bit essential to this, is your filter envelope. Bring the attack all the way down. The decay to about 256, somewhere around there. The sustain to about negative 50 dB somewhere in that area and the release all the way down. Now next you want to come over to your low pass ladder filter here turn the envelope up about um, three quarters of the way maybe around 90 or so so you'll you have whenever the frequency's up you have a bright sound but whenever it goes down So you have the bare bones of a small plucked instruments there. So what I usually do from this point is I right click this and I hold in shift and I click duplicate devices and tracks. And what that does whenever I hold in shift to do that is it connects all these wires up to here so I don't have to manually wire them. And then I pan one instance all the way to the left and the next all the way to the right. and that widens up the sound a lot. Now, this is still pretty bare bones, so what I want to do next is create a M-Class equalizer, and I'm going to hold shift whenever I click on this, that way it doesn't connect anything. This is just me though, and pull out those wires and put the master out to the audio input on the equalizer, and then I'll put that to the combinator output. Take your low cut, for param 1, what I usually do is I uh, put the gain all the way up, and then I search around for any sore spots I hear, like right there, and I turn it down. And what I'm doing there, you can see in my other video tutorial about equalizing your instruments, and I'm just going to I'm going to shape this a little bit so I can get a sound I like. I want a little bit of high end in here. And don't be afraid to layer equalizers. 
I mean, don't ever do it, because you're going to completely destroy your sound from all recognition if you if you completely overdo it. But it's nice. It's a nice way to shape your sound and give it give it give it a you know a bit of a nice sound. Now what I usually like to do from this point is add a DDL1 digital delay line and I'm going to bring the dry wet down to about let's say 14 for now and it just gives it a little bit of dynamic and I'm going to add for the, um, I'm going to add in RV7 Digital Reverb, and for the longest time I didn't actually use this. I would always create my own patches in RV7000, but I learned if you take the uh, dry wet to about 18, damp all the way up, decay down to about negative 30 or so, and the size to about, let's say, negative 20. Maybe turn the dry wet down to about 8. And it kind of gives it a, uh, let me see. If... It kind of gives it a little bit of, uh, it adds a little bit of room to your instrument. And then from there, you can create an RV7000. I'm going to put this on plate. Turn the dry wet down to about 20 or so. Put the uh, H. F damp all the way up. High equalization, high end equalization all the way up. Put the low field damp somewhere in there. Now this all comes down to personal preference um, from the delay line up to this point. Same with all the equalization, it's just what, however you want your sound. Gives you a nice little pluck sound there. Um, what else I like to do is I'm going to solo this first one out, put the pan back. And I'm going to start it at a point where I'd like to hear it. I don't want it to go any lower than that particular point, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to come down here to the uh, routing table, and this is just for my MIDI controller. I have a mod wheel on it, and I want to put make the mod wheel, as I turn it up, it's going to put the frequency up on the slow pass ladder filter. And I'm also going to add a state variable to this, put that up to about 90, and some resonance to That takes, it kind of kicks out a lot of the low end, but it also makes it a lot more, um, makes it sound a lot more transparent. that there and then let's put this down to about here. I'm going to leave this frequency up. So we'll leave that at about 140 hertz. So I'm going to put performance, mod wheel, amount, let's say we'll start out at uh, about 75 just to test it out. And then that'll be for filter to frequency. 
in as I play it. So it sounds pretty good. And I want to do the same thing to this, but I don't want to do that all over again manually, so I'm just going to right click this copy of Thor, copy patch, right click this one, paste patch, and unsolo that. And you got a nice sounding pluck there. And you can save this patch and use it whenever you need to. I have quite a few different in mind that I, I like to use time to time. And you can experiment with uh you can experiment with your different oscillators here, get different sounds out of it. There's really no limit to what you can do whenever you really get into reason, especially whenever it comes to the routing. And if you're interested in seeing any other instruments made, you know, any other types of instruments like this, pads, arps, anything, just leave a comment and I'll check on that and I'll uh, release another video and I'll showcase that for you. So thank you for watching and enjoy.